Should we show you on the podcast? Look at this. this yeah, is show, me, show, me, show me on the podcast. <laughs> All right, I'll show you on the podcast. I'll surprise you with the... And you can edit this out, obviously. If, if you don't want, want to. to. Yeah. Would you want to? I don't know. It's hard to know. There's something... Do you want to get the dog away from touching me? Touching me. <laughs> I can get the dog away from you if you want. No, it's all right. Yeah? You as long as the scratchy nails is going <laughs> to... No, nah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I can't, just kind of put can't that hear into it? account now. You can hear it a little bit, but I put it into... I just account for the dog now. Right. I think that's part of the podcast. You can, <laughs> the dog is part of the podcast. Yeah. Because you can hear that. You can hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. He'll sit down in a second and it'll be totally fine. So got, he loves beanbags. Okay. Look at that. Look beanbag. Do you fun? <laughs> it's great. No, I love it. I love it. I'm just saying. You focus. If you think you can't hear that. I can't hear it. <laughs> Tell him he's dreaming. <laughs> you can hear it. I'm going to open this. Can't hear it right now. Look at that. Ooh. That's nice. Oh, that that, that's good. And that's not a sound effect good. either. That was you doing that live. <laughs> you check the video if you want. Live. Um, Do you want to kick it off? Kick it off. Yep. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Confessions. Everyone wants to confess, but not everyone wants to hear them. Today, I'm joined by the most wonderful guest that you can bloody find all killer no filler as i said in text <laughs> just before and i just looked and i've got the old name of the podcast on my ah. screen right now but that's fine we'll have a rebrand but you know sometimes I, that's fine I, to, for me this makes me feel comfortable because yep. i've only ever done confessions of the idiots yep. i think after our falling out you changed it to idiots because there was a split. <laughs> I, I said, you know what? If yeah, oh, the the band broke up, and I had to change the name for legal I, for legal reasons. I got <laughs> of the idiots, and yeah. you got confessions. <laughs> what are you doing with of the idiots? If you expand, it's the worst one. I should have gone for confessions. I know time. I like, it's hard. Of the idiots Ugh. is hard because you oh, always go idiots. idiots of of what? I don't know. It's, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm yeah. working on it. I'm working on it. I'm yeah. spitballing here. But you know, this is the first time you've been on for a while because you used to be the most regular guest on the podcast. That, I don't even want to ask who's taken over that. It was Curry. Close? Yeah, Curry's pretty close. Curry's up Genevieve there. Morris. Genevieve Morris is up there. Oliver Clark is oh, up he, there. Rob Tony Mills, Mills. I know you'd be angry about that. You don't like Rob. Rob Mills. <laughs> Mills. I've made this whole thing up in my head about you not liking Rob. Was, no, I just know that all of a sudden there was, yeah. I was seeing Rob pop. And, yeah. and what a fantastic get. Oh, great get. Yeah, yeah. Huge for the podcast. Huge, huge for me. Huge, huge get for, for you. confessions. Yeah, not of the not idiots. Not great for of the idiots. <laughs> Have you had him on of the idiots yet? <laughs> You're not even sure if it's a podcast yet. Yeah. <laughs> It's a podcast. Sure That's why I was asking you about all this beautiful equipment that yeah, you've got now. That yeah, you own, That this is owned by Confessions. Home studio. Yeah. It's a home studio. That's why I was asking so many questions. Like, oh, how much does that desk cost? Yeah. What do you reckon these mics are worth? What do you reckon this mic's worth? Yeah. And I could tell you exactly. It wasn't even what do you yeah. reckon. I could so, tell you exactly. I've got the receipts. So I know I'm going to go down to JB and see if they price match with uh, That's right. Sammy Peterson. <laughs> with podcast yeah, extraordinaire. Podcast Sammy Peterson. <laughs> and you're also showing me there's a whole lot of sound effects on this new Oh, this is board. wonderful. Okay, you so got? we can do this sort of thing. We can do this. <laughs> So that's really good. So if you want to have that at any point, you let me know. Does that come stock with the board? That comes stock with the board. Oh. So I haven't actually even synced these up. Oh, yet this is just have. what comes. This is what comes stock. naturally. You I think Roadcaster went. This is what people will want. Right. Give them what they want because you've also got. Is, if you want it, oh, squeaky wheel. No, that's um crickets chirping. Mm. Oh, you're not happy with that? that sounds like we'll talk to Roadcaster about this. <laughs> it's a squeaky wheel. It's a squeaky wheel. Yeah. Okay, what about this one? Oh, that's quite nice. It's a flashback. Flashback. Yeah, so if we want to have flashbacks. At that time we'll we had a falling out and you got confessions like it. Oh, the idiots. <laughs> Fuck you, Sam. I'm taking off the idiots. I mean, I'm taking confessions. <laughs> Just you try. Lawyer up, Lawson. Fuck <laughs> it. Oh. And we're back. That was a wonderful flashback. <laughs> Great improv from us, by the really, really good from you. You really got into that character. What's this one? Oh, that's uh, good. Classic. Yeah, classic. Yep. That's a bit eerie. Yeah. Do you have any of this on Utopia? Are you able to do this on Utopia? <laughs> I should ask them to. I should say. <laughs> great. That's great. Good to Grand be back. Applause. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fun one. And I think we've only got one more left. One left. And I think I played this one for you before. Do you want to save it? But, oh, yeah, let's save it. I'm playing it, but it's not It's not picking up. Oh, so you just write it right up the level. Write it up. It? You write it up. This is not, I mean, this is a podcast about podcasting now. Yes. Which is... What well, my podcast want. is about. <laughs> of the idiots. Yeah, for the idiots. <laughs> for the idiots. Yeah. Okay, you've changed it again. <laughs> is that how to get a legal trouble with me? Well, someone else had of, so I... You uh, can't have of. I bought an R and I said, I said change it to for the idiots. Confessions That's right. for the idiots. Yeah, and I'll make it very clear, we have not had a falling out. Never. No, we've never had a falling out. It's just out. fun to pretend these things. It's fun to pretend these things. Yeah. You know, if we really want to have a... Oh, I thought that was, was going to be a news. flashback. I really thought that was going to be the flashback. You've got to label them, I think. You've got to label it. And also, the thing is, it counts down. So the last one I played goes for 32 more seconds. That's the problem with it. Right. That's why we can play it later. What a great, what a great little setup. Oh, well, mm, I'm not, I haven't got it yet. I could, put, I could label them. It might mm. be quite easier. Uh, so we haven't had a falling out. No. We're still friends. Yeah. We just haven't done a podcast for a while. You came on the, you came on the live one with Missy Egan, yeah. so the last one that you did. Just life gets in the way sometimes. Yep. 
but live doesn't get in the way, and that's why you always do the live podcast. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. Yeah, so that was really good. Because <laughs> I can delete that if you want. No. We can get rid of it. Life gets in the way. <laughs> life gets in life the way. Life doesn't. No. <laughs> Life gets in the way, life yep. doesn't get in the way. Life doesn't get in the way. Now, because as well as that, you know, I've got the new equipment, mm-hmm. the old setup. So it's always at a studio or in my NYC Loft City apartment. Yep. Quite small in New York City. I had a very right. small loft. Uh, now, it was a New space. York City uh, style. Style yeah. loft. Sorry, I wasn't yeah. in New York City. I must make that very clear. <laughs> Unless people wanted to dox me. <laughs> 123 Victoria Street, Brunswick East was my old address. I can say that now. I can easily say that. But this place where I won't say what suburb it is. Yeah. Quite a big place. Could be any. Oh. Could, yeah. Three bedrooms. Sprawling. Yeah. Too many bedrooms, if I'm honest. It's sprawling. Uh, this it's is sprawling. why. You know, this is when I turned up yep. today and I was like, yep. okay, this is a proper grown up's house mm. you're living in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Seeing these microphones. Yeah. Sort of doing the math on the whole setup. Yeah. Your case in the joint. Podcasting <laughs> is going well for you. Podcasting is going well. Podcast, yep. Let's just say that. I'm printing money. It seems like it. <laughs> you got a dog? You know, this. Yeah. I. Put the dog. They're not cheap. Is it six hundred bucks that dog? Really? Yeah, cash. Was it six hundred? Oh, yeah, cash. Really? It, it sounds quite expensive I, for oh, rescue, I, doesn't it? I want to say I think he got ripped. Yeah, I mean, great dog, but <laughs> Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Oh god, Jeez. you can hear it through the whole thing. You get a notepad out. I got a notepad out. I like to take notes, but <laughs> if you think people can't hear that dog, yeah, people can. These mics are sensitive. I know. Dog. The dog hasn't moved. That's yeah, a, it's only the bone. That's, that's a been, six hundred dollar dog. It's a six hundred dollar dog right there. It's expensive, isn't it, for a rescue? You never think they're going to be six hundred dollars, but it was a six hundred dollar dog. But we also got dog food with it. Came with dog food. Came with dog food. Yeah. Came with a collar. Uh, okay. Came with a lead. So you start to take that off. So you go, that's a hundred dollars right there. And dog food. Dog food, two hundred dollars. I told you that just before. Yeah. Before we started the podcast, we did the maths on that. <laughs> it just seems like I've come around to your house and gone. How much does that cost? How much does your dog cost? That's a nice soda stream you got there on the shelf. That's What's that. Uh, How much is that? What's that? What's that worth? Yeah. yeah. Dishwasher. Anything else you want to ask about? Yeah. Dishwasher. So we, we uh, I get the tablets for that. They were um, $60 a bag. Go yeah. to Aldi, $20 a bag for dishwasher tablets. Printing money. Absolutely printing money. I'm saving so much money. That dog, you gave the dog a bone. Gave the dog a bone. It's going to hop back on the bean bag. Or it's and then gonna, we won't hear it. Then we won't hear it. Oh, it's going to go on the couch. This is fun. This is good live on the podcast. I'll put this on as it's going. The dog's getting on the couch. This is huge. I just, I, I'm only saying this because if you, uh, as a listener at home, yep. they might hear the scritching and the scratching and and <laughs> a little wor- feet. Not worried. Not worried. I don't get think worried. people are worried about it. I think people are fine with it. If you hear okay. that scratching, it's a dog. I think that's how we get out of it. I think we just say it's a dog. Do not be alarmed. Okay, it's a There's dog. nothing else more sinister going on. Now, you haven't been on the podcast for a while. So last time on the podcast, we did a live podcast with Missy yeah. Higgins, Australia's yeah. Adele. Yeah. We had uh, wonderful, wonderful other people on the podcast yeah. as well. Can't think of their back, names offhand, but we had back. wonderful other people mm. on the podcast as well. Now, it's been a while since you've been on. What's changed? Nothing's changed apart from I did change the name of the podcast, but since I've since forgotten and put the name up on the on the screen of the old the old brand. Yeah. But we always say the big three on this podcast. You've yeah. got shitting yourself, having sex with a ghost, <laughs> and having just sex with that? We're, we're just, we're just ignoring that. that. People know it's a dog in the background. I think they're fine with okay. it. Call in if you're not. <laughs> oh wait. I told you we were actually talking about going out live before as well. Yeah. If we did this podcast live and you just get this annoying dog in the background. Uh, no, I didn't say it was annoying. I'm no. just saying it's you can, you, can, you can definitely you can definitely hear it. You can definitely hear it. You're just saying it's not that. a soundproof for podcast booth. Really. No, 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 no. But people do say that as well. I hear it on podcasts all the time. People do say, ignore that noise in the background. It's just uh, there's a dog, there's a buzzing, there's a slight buzzing. So if you have a sound problem, it's a slight <laughs> buzzing of a dog. It's just knocked the camera. It's just, just knocked the camera off. Mate, I'm gonna pause it for two seconds. Pausing the video, or <laughs> this is you can hear this, and you can say, and this is a, this is a beautiful dog, by yeah. the way. Beautiful dog. This is not my the way I'm reacting to this is not like I don't like dogs. I like dogs, but it's just I just if you think people can't hear that or see that camera being knocked off the tissue boxes you got there. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well for myself. You could, you could lash out for an extra. Uh, you could lash out for a tripod. I reckon you could get two tripods, two semi decent ones for about you know two hundred bucks for the pair. Yeah, I'm not even looking at that. Is that not working? No. <laughs> Do we just pretend like nothing? We we'll pretend happened. that didn't happen. Yeah, I'll keep a bit of it in there, but then we can come back. Yeah, three, two. It's over a minute, yeah. so we'll get it. <laughs> 
we're back. And we're back. That was huge. That was wonderful. Welcome to Of The Idiots, and we're back. <laughs> it's how you can start every episode of your podcast. Of The Idiots, and we're back. I don't want to shake too much because the camera. You can do it. You can shake. Okay, it's right, fun. Yeah, right. yeah. I got my notepad out. I'm ready to go. I'm ready you got your notepad out. I'm ready for confession. Now, what are you expecting on the, on the podcast today? Uh, I think before everything... Went to shit a minute yeah, ago. Yeah, uh, we're yeah, talking yeah. about the big three, which is obviously you cra- uh, uh, crapping your pants, yep. uh, having sexual relationship with a ghost, yep. or having sex with someone you shouldn't. Sex with someone you shouldn't. Yeah, they're the big. They're the they're big three. Often, this is what people confess. Often, to. it always happens. And look, we're going to get right into it today because we've got some wonderful confessions. I've got four confessions, as always, mm-hmm. and I've got four wonderful people. Now, look, you're going to be writing down people's names, so you don't forget. Is that? Or just, I write you know, down names and it's just a thought. Just things that come to things you. Things that come to, yeah. me, come to me. If I start channeling a ghost, yep. I can do little scribbles and scratches. Right. Oh, you do kind of a Ouija board on your, yeah. <laughs> your notepad. I, I can, you I can, can talk to them, channel spirit. Talk yep, to them, yeah. If you need to. Yeah. Confession one comes from Brian. Yep, great. Brian confesses. You happy with Brian? Yeah. Yeah. Chickens aren't laying eggs anymore. Full stop? That's not a general statement. That's his, his chickens. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's just having a go at old chickens. Yeah. God, they're so lazy. You can't do anything. Sometimes anymore. they go off the lay, and this just happens from time to time. Do you know this for a fact? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Okay. That sometimes they're just not feeling it. They're not feeling it? Yeah. And, and they have a bit of time off, and then they come back usually? Yeah. Yeah. Hate it when they do that. That's what he writes. Hate it when they do that. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about my own chickens, of course. Mm-hmm. There are many, many chickens that I've had over the years, and at some point when you're on the farm – they completely stop laying them all together. Yeah. It's a fact, isn't it? It's just a fact of life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's fine, of course. You can't expect them to just sit there and lay eggs forever. No. Nope. Everything, as I'm finding in life, has a shelf life. Mm. Do you think? What do you think of Brian so far? I mean, he's, he's making sense. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, it's logical. He's, he sounds like he's... Uh Lives on some acreage. Yep. Got some chickens. Maybe quite run, well to do. A couple of, runs a runs a couple of head of chicken, and yep. uh, you know, and they're off the lay. And I think he's going to do something to these chickens. Yeah. If you were if you were walking around the farm, would you be going? How much does that set you back? Yeah. You know, would that be your vibe on the farm? I can never get chickens. You yep. buy you buy a chicken for your farm, and they're like thirty five bucks each. Go to Coles, they're like nine ninety five. In the bag. And cooked. And cooked. Plucked and cooked. <laughs> Plucked How does that work? Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't even begin to understand that. That's huge. I can't do the mathematics. Because I've got friends who bought some chickens and they went, that one, you know, I was like, oh, they bought that one. It was like 30 bucks. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Well, hang on. Yeah. But the eggs, you're not even counting in the eggs. Go, don't, Lots of eggs. Don't count your chickens before they're hatched. That's what they say. You always say that. That's one of your famous sayings. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> They completely stop laying them all together. Yep. That's fine, of Off course. Lay. You can't expect them to just sit there and lay eggs forever. No. Everything, as I'm finding in life, has a shelf life. Right. Yeah. And that's more than okay, too. Don't worry about the dog. <laughs> <laughs> all that sound there, it's ambience. It's adding beautiful, yeah, right. a lot of texture, colour to the sound. Texture, yeah, texture. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of other podcasters would stop. Yeah. I'm not doing that. No. No. You want a shelf life? No. Well, I don't either. I don't. Oh. I don't know what that bit means. I think he got quite defensive about the shelf life of. Well, you, it, it sort of ma- makes you face your own mortality when oh, you wow. realise something's got a shelf life. You go, yeah. well, so I've got a shelf life. Yeah. That shelf has got a shelf life. Yeah, you know? <laughs> that's right. Do you think, you know, if having kids as well, it's probably a good thing to have chickens around and say, you know, because all those questions I imagine as a parent will come up. You know, yeah. on a farm as well. I mean, you have to deal. Yeah, you, you, we, you, we do have to deal with death. Yeah, in life. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and it's good to bring it up. Know, chickens are going to go off the lay. <laughs> they're not la- egg laying machines. No, and don't get rid of them just because they stop laying eggs. Beautiful pets as well. Yeah, if you want them. What do you get rid of your bird because it stops singing? Do you get rid of your dog because it stops barking? <laughs> do you get rid of your car because it stops driving? That's right. Never. You shouldn't. <laughs> All good examples. Thanks. No one literally wants one, but we don't have a choice in it. No one wants the one. shelf life. I think he's still talking. Oh, about yeah, it. He's no, been no, going no, on the course, shelf life for a while. Yeah, we'd all love, love to live forever. Of course, no one literally wants one, but we don't have a choice in it. I even go as far to think that sometimes we, the items we buy on shelves at supermarkets, sometimes get sad when we don't choose them. Oh, yeah, not sure. About not all that. of them. Not, sure <laughs> not all that. of them, maybe. Not but, like a packet of cheesels. I don't think is getting. What's behind me? The dog is now. I'm going to put the dog. <laughs> Jeez, what the? Come on, mate. Come on, mate. <laughs> and then you'll um, see he'll break the wall or something. Straight through smash the, through the glass. Through the glass. <laughs> He's fine. Um, he never does that. So uh, Brian likes to think of things at the supermarket going, pick me, pick yep. me. The, the ball got carried. The bananas going, hey, oh, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what? Yeah, yeah. 
was fine. Pick me, pick me. They're almost screaming out. It's all the mm. vegetables and Ooh. all that. What a horrible sound to oh, look into a horrible. supermarket. Every single product <laughs> on every single shelf is screaming at you. Pick me, pick me. And so each time the chicken stops laying eggs, my wife suggests getting new chickens and eating the old ones. I mean. The circle of life, that's what he writes. Yeah. Which you described as before. Yeah. Circle of life. So instead, okay, so what, what do you think? It might actually put the wind up the other ones. That's true. <laughs> might want to start laying See again. one being taken and think, yeah. it's, it's, it's now or never, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Start laying. <laughs> start laying now. Now, yeah. you're the best guesser on this podcast. Now, he's quite attached to these chickens. He's worried about shelf lives and things. His wife's saying, get rid of the chickens. Yeah. Where do you think this confession is going to go? Uh, it's, it's tough because mm. I don't think he wants to – his wife wants to eat them. Mm. Maybe he's going to the supermarket – Buying a roast chook. Yep. Getting some feathers off the chickens at home, yep. putting the feathers on it. Yep. And then pretending he cooked it. I mean, you're pretty close to where this is going. Right. You're pretty close. Now, it's not the, it's not the chickens themselves. It's what they're producing. So instead of oh, killing these chickens. brilliant. He's going and getting eggs. Yeah, he's going and getting eggs. This is a wholesome confession. This is nice. This, this is one of the nice nicest one. ones. This is one of the nicest ones. What happens? Ones. Yeah. Something's about to happen. No, he's not going to shit himself or anything. <laughs> or have sex with the ghost. This, this is a nice one. This is a blanket nice I love one. This. I don't usually do nice ones. So he's going, nice and buying, how, going and buying. What about buying the eggs. stamp? The, what about the stamp on the chicken that says, on the eggs that says, you know, used by stamp? Oh, not on the individual eggs, though. Have you got a packet of eggs here? I've got a packet of eggs. I'll get it. I've interrupted the podcast enough with the dog <laughs> smashing through everything. Really this, this is good for audio. Okay, so <laughs> Sam's, this is how close the fridge is to the podcasting studio. He's <laughs> at the f- kitchen fridge. Got some eggs. Is there a stamp on it? You're right. There's a stamp on it. So how's he going to explain that? Yeah, how are you going to explain that? This stamp says open 152. I don't yeah. know what that means. Could you colour it in? How? Can you tip that egg? I don't know how easy that is to get off. Yeah. Could you a bit, bit of like, if you got if you got some foundation, you think that's quite close to foundation. You could found, yeah. <laughs> put you a could, bit of foundation no, over the top of that. Absolutely, you could find something that will. And every time she goes to get get an egg, you go, "I'll get it, I'll get and it." You sound like a great guy. I'll get it, I'll crack it, I'll crack the egg. I love cracking eggs. You know that. Yeah. Got to crack a few eggs to make an omelet. Yep. I just made that up. It's, you should write that. Down. <laughs> TM. TM. I own that now. Mm-hmm. So instead of killing these chickens because I'm too much of an emotional wreck, I started buying them and hiding planted. Oh, and, and, and hiding, planting them under the chickens. He's planting them. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Or at least close to where they would usually be laying them. Mm-hmm. I find it's easier way to make us both happy. It's, I, I, you know, there's, that's a, like a white lie. It's a white lie, yeah. You're spending a little bit of money on the, on the eggs and you're buying a lot of foundation. I yeah. think you're going to make a cosmetic quite a bit, putting some foundation. Got to get rid of the carton? Yep. The evidence? Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Unless you walk out with a carton and go, look what they just laid. If you get real lazy, that's how you're going to get caught out every time. These are bloody good chickens. <laughs> bloody good chickens. <laughs> they bag themselves. They're incredible. <laughs> I find it's an easier way to make us both happy. Mm. She thinks the chickens are still being productive and I get to keep my little chickens that I've developed oh. an emotional bond with. Isn't that nice? Little chickens. Is, is, Isn't that nice? What a what a, gen, what a gentle soul. I will say not the rest of the confessions are not like this, but I just want it to ease you in. It's nice. It's a nice one. I've been doing it for a while now and my wife has questioned why we never got rid of the chickens and why they are laying so many eggs well past their prime. Mm. So I think they're all now just laying too many eggs. There's too many. I didn't have the heart to tell her, but a lie is a lie, no matter the intention, and I feel like I should say something. Well, that's true. A lie is a lie. A lie is a lie. Whether it's sort of white or any other colour. Or it's going to hurt someone or any other colour. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful coloured lie. Now, look, he's doing a he's doing a pretty good thing. He's not killing the chickens. No, he's not killing the chickens. He's going out and buying eggs. Now, how mm. long do you think you could keep a lie like that up for? Well, I mean, the chickens are going to die eventually, eventually yeah. and you can't. They can't lay the eggs then. Yeah, kind of old ghost egg. <laughs> One of those old ghost eggs. I'm now being haunted by oh, the bloody hell. Go to, go to <laughs> the ghost of an egg still laying eggs. <laughs> that is horrifying. Um, I, I really like this 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 um, confession because yeah. it's so it, it, he's, it's wholesome. He doesn't want to harm the chickens because that's obviously I think in most farms mm. that's probably what happens. Yeah, you know, farms can be brutal places. They are brutal places. Yes, yeah. I remember uh, more. Uh, you know, people always used to say that when a dog passes away, they go to a farm and it's a big farm in the sky, big farm, in the big sky. puppy farm in the sky. And my friend who lived on a farm said that. You know, started questioning his parents all the time, just asking if they come to his farm. Oh, and you know, I think it was quite a heartbreaking thing for them to have to say, 
no, it's not this farm, it's a different farm and, you know, you just kind of pass yeah. it on along. And, you know, I probably did the same thing with, you know, the dog making so much noise before. Yeah. I was like, let's give it another chance. Let's can't, give hear it. It. can't hear it. <laughs> can't hear it. I just block it out. You think I've gone Knocked completely mad? Over. Can't hear it. Can't hear it. It's such a beautiful, you, beautiful That is dog. such a beautiful dog. Beautiful. You've got a beautiful, yeah, a beautiful dog. dog. Great character, this one you're working on. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, you got a, be- a bit horny for a dog. <laughs> no. A, oh, no. So I, I, I made it that. I, no, I will admit that. I made it that. Um, Dave did not do it, that. It's so wholesome. And I think, you know, there's a – yeah, maybe if he does tell her, she'll see how what a sweet person yeah. she, she's with. Yeah. It's um, quite – it's very nice. I think that's the – Compared not, that's to the all of the confessions you've heard. That's the nicest confession I've ever heard on this yep. podcast. Yeah. <laughs> especially, it's not a high bar, is it? Especially on the 300th podcast. Is this the 300th? This is not the – this is not uh, the – and I've told you that so many times. This is not the 300th. You episode. know what? I'm just going to keep saying great to be on the 300th <laughs> Great podcast. to be on the 300th. The Victor, and you can play a sound effect as you're doing it if you want. That's up to you. That's your creative <laughs> oh, license. Okay. Now, what do you think you should be doing in a situation like this? Lovely Brian. What do you think Brian Look, should I, do? I, I think it's, it sounds like it's weighing on Brian a little bit. That he yeah. goes – when he, uh, Brian says a lie is a lie. And I think coming clean and it, it, I think it's going to be a – they'll get a real good chuckle out of that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, She's but, not going to be mad about it, I no. don't think. No, there's either that or the alternative is you're going to have to um, kill one of the chickens in front of the other ones to show them what happens. Right, yeah, if they speak up. That's what I do with mosquitoes. I If there's a mosquito, I will swat it and leave it on my skin as a warning to the other ones. Wow. <laughs> Does it stop the mosquitoes? Yeah. Sometimes. They will go past and go, <laughs> did you ever hear that myth about mosquitoes that if you pull your skin apart, when there's, they'll get their nose stuck in it and they'll keep drinking the blood till they pop? Really? Yeah. I've never heard that before. Uh, Do like mosquitoes you- have noses? Yeah, they've got little, um, little, little pointers, little, yeah. little, uh, like a needle. Yeah. We'll do it in the fact check later. <laughs> no, well, it's, I don't know what it's called. But you Siri, don't forget to fact check that. <laughs> I'll let my all the cameras be knocked down and a dog bouncing around, but I will stop. I will draw the line of mosquitoes. Yeah, mosquitoes having, they've got the um, whatever little pointers. It is, the sucker, the, sucker. It's the injector. Yeah. Uh, so that goes into your skin. I used to, you used to hear that if you pull your skin tight, oh, it'll get stuck in there. Right. And won't stop drinking blood and it'll... Explode! Oh my god! Have never you seen tried it happen? happen. Never seen it happen. Like Mentos, like I've putting it in to... coke, this explodes. <laughs> Same thing, like Same in a Mentos. Thing. Um, yeah. So they'll explode. But I think, and this is worth trying. If yeah. you are getting bitten by mosquitoes, rather yeah. than if you've got some time on your if hands, you, if you hit it and um, splat it on yeah. you, rather than flick it off, leave it on you as a little uh, heads a little up. warning, a little warning. Yeah. And that's the other alternative. What Brian could do with the chickens <laughs> is just you know, yeah. Just yeah, a, a dire warning to all the other chickens out there. Yeah, yeah. Did Start you laying. did you learn this as a kid, the mosquito thing, or did you learn this quite recently? Uh, I think as a kid, oh, yeah. leave one on your skin as a yeah. warning. Oh no, I'd, I'd just do that. You just do that. Anyway. I just you know yeah. that's what you know. I think if you want to ward people off, yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. I was telling someone the other day that uh, when I was little, you know, when you, you're sitting around like a campfire. And there's, this is, you know, before podcasts. Now I'd be doing it around a campfire because obviously yeah. I don't care about sound or anything. Yeah. And I was doing it. And uh, sitting around a campfire, smoke would come in your face. Did you have anything that you would say? White rabbit. And it goes the other direction. Yeah. This is apparently what everyone does. Yeah. Everyone grew what up with country. <laughs> My dad told me it was, I hate dead rabbits. I hate dead rabbits. I hate dead rabbits. All these other kids are saying white rabbit, white rabbit. I'm saying I hate dead rabbits. I hate dead rabbits. Oh. So I was saying that for, you know, many, many, many years. Have you told you? I mean, I don't think the white rabbit thing works, though. No, I don't think it does. I don't think anything you say is going to blow the smoke out of your eyes because <laughs> I think it just keeps going in a circle. Yeah, yeah. And when you say it, it's going to keep moving around. Yeah. I hate dead rabbits. I hate dead rabbits. Yeah. And, w- and always when you move out of the smoke, you go, yeah. it's coming right. I'm going to move. Yeah. It'll swing around. And go It'll back swing around. Again. Again. It'll always get you. Uh, I hate dead chickens. I hate dead chickens is what I'm going to say from now on. And start lying. Yeah, <laughs> start lying. So you think that's the – you have a conversation with your wife. Yeah. Get it off your chest always. if you feel like you need Why to. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Yeah. What, it's, it's probably something in the vowels about that. There probably is, yeah, about chickens yeah, <laughs> specifically. Yeah. Or just lying. Lying? Lying. Yeah, yeah, not about chickens. Let's move on to the next confession. Because I think you solved that. That was a nice way to start. I hope so. You got the next confession that comes from lovely Chloe. Chloe, I'm going to write that down. You're going to write that down. Chloe confesses. Is that Chloe C-L? C-H-L-O-E. Chloe's never spelt with a C-L, is it? I don't think so. No. But I think it can be. I, th- I think there'll be lots of ways you could Chloe. spell Chloe. Chloe. I've been in a relationship with my boyfriend for over three years. That's a good, that's a great that's amount a of time. steady relationship. Yeah. It's been pretty serious, I suppose. Mm. All things get serious in the end. Mm. <laughs> no matter how long you've been in them, for a lot of the time, you can't help but get serious. I agree with that. 
maybe uh, is she suggesting the fun has gone out of the maybe relationship? Maybe the fun the fun has been um, has come know, out of the relationship a yeah. little bit. Yeah. One day you're moving in, the next day you're shitting with the door open. Yeah. Can happen. Is, you know. Can happen. You can I'm sure there's ways to make that romantic. Yeah. Get some incense, some yeah. potpourri, make it smell yeah, nice. But, yeah. You know. That sort of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, do what you want. Not that I not that I do it, but he's certainly been known to. Shit with the door open. Shit with the door open, yeah. Sure. Since the beginning of the relationship, I've been devastatingly attracted to his best friend. Oh, this is bad, isn't since it? Since the start? Since the start, yeah. Why'd she, yeah, okay. In fact, I've been attracted to his best friend longer than him. Okay. And I haven't gotten over it. Okay. I know it's just hormones and lust, silly lust, but it hurts sometimes to know that I might have made the wrong choice and that can never be changed. Mm, right. Please note that I do love my boyfriend. I really do. Mm. I just can't get over this stupid attraction to his best friend. Mm -hmm. I just love his friend more than him. If I put them in some kind of police lineup, I don't know why you do that. Yeah. Yep. I would choose the best friend each and every time. He doesn't have a girlfriend and he is very much the life of the party. Right. I know I can't just do a switch. You can't do that, can you? Ever. That would never Mm. work. I know that I can't go out there and change everything in an instant, but there are times when I wish I could click my little fingers and change it all. She's How got little fingers. You know, she, she said Quite that. Nice. Yeah, little fingers. Click my, click little, my little fingers. fingers. <laughs> it's nice to say that. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. Pick up yourself. If you want little fingers, have little fingers. I'm sure they're amazing. They're, yeah. Don't know if I, if I could have an open relationship with my boyfriend about this. Seems like it's more damage than I could ever care to know. Yeah. Seems like maybe nothing will ever be the same again. Hard to imagine. A uh, very tricky one because it's a tricky one. The problem is, she says to the best friend, mm. "I have got feelings for you." He goes, "What? Whoa. Yeah, no. What? Chloe? 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 That's never going to happen. Chloe? 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 Chloe. Chloe. It's not going to happen. No. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm with Sebastian. I yeah, always have been. Yeah. Uh, or he goes, "Yeah, I've felt the same," and then. That's a friendship over. A friendship over. It's done. Yeah. It, and and it might not be what it, they hoped it would be. Yeah. They might, you know. She's saying it's lust as well. It could be lust and yeah. it, could, it could be the for, forbidden fruit. Uh, always taste the sweetest. I made that up. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, it's not one I made up. Um, yeah. Made it the, the, forbi- the forbidden fruit. Yeah. Maybe that's what, uh, and once, once you taste it. Yeah. You've had it. You've had it. Yeah. No. Never the same again. So there's a few problems here. I yep. think... Wow, I mean, do you say to your boyfriend, say, "Hey, just oh, she could end up with no one." Yeah, yeah, you know, just have to focus on herself for a bit. Focus on Chloe. Club. She says to her boyfriend's best friend, she says to him, "Hey, by the way, I've I've had a thing for you." He yep. either goes, "Oh, well, me too." What are we going to do about this? Yep. Or he goes, "Right, I'm telling my best friend." Yeah, you wait here. I'm you telling wait, him right wait now. Here. I'm going to go tell him. And he yeah. goes, guess what Chloe said? Yeah. Guess what Chloe, Chloe said? She tried to crack onto me. And then she goes, no, I didn't. And she Oh, this whole my God. Thing. Yeah, yeah. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Thing and you've got a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. Feelings can be messy. Yeah. They can be. Absolutely. Yeah. No. Feelings get hurt all the time. Feelings get hurt. Yeah. Feelings get muddled. Feelings yep. get messy. There's no yep. doubt, of, no doubt, no doubt about, about it. No one's denying No that. doubt about that. No. Also, she's obviously got very strong feelings here. Of course. I don't think she needs – I don't – Okay, here's what's very clear. Mm. I know she must love her boyfriend. He's not the one for her. No. If he was the one, she wouldn't be thinking She wouldn't about. be feeling like this. She wouldn't be thinking about. Is it time to set the boyfriend free? It's time to set the boyfriend wow. free. She's got to break up with him. That's the first thing that's got to happen. Yep. Then from there, she, she's free to say to the best friend, hey, he might go, not. Not. not Just gonna, say not. Not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or he might go, this is, uh, I've never felt a love so strong. Wow. Yeah. Let's uh, let's make this happen. Let's make this happen. Yeah, and then maybe maybe they get together, and maybe it's not the fireworks they expected. Yeah, but chicken wow, wow will well, maybe, fade out after a while. Maybe maybe they could fade out, and yeah. maybe they're not compatible. Maybe yeah. you know they don't fit together. Yeah, the the, the, the missing puzzle piece. Is Vance Joy she's, once sung. She's did he? I'm not sure. <laughs> Sounds like a Vance Joy song. Yeah, yeah, I think it might be. Yeah, I think that's what's got to happen. For, yeah, like, she's just got to realize. Yes, you love the boyfriend, and we'll maybe always will love them. Yeah. And have this strong, these strong feelings for yeah. someone who is a huge part of her life. Three yeah. years is a, is a huge part of yep. her life. And then 
But I think that's that's all. That's the first thing is going to have to break up, and unfortunately, yeah. it's going to be hard, and it's going to be messy, and people are going to get hurt. Yep. And then one, once that's there, you know, it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. Yeah. And you know and what? You can have crushes on people as well. You don't have sure. to act on all these goddamn crushes. You don't have to act. You, act on you know, this could be this could be her first love and her yeah. second love, and yeah. Who knows? Maybe she'll she'll hit the jackpot. Maybe she can get stuck into both. Yeah, that's you know, nice. In a yeah. big love style thing. That's you know? nice. Yeah, big love taste the sweetest. <laughs> it's another one of saying. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> well, wonderful people on Reddit like to comment. Yeah, okay, I think great. you'll know that lots of wonderful people like to comment. You got Fernando Florida commented under it. This is a disgrace. Are you listening to me, Chloe? Please. You should be in love with your boyfriend and think about his good qualities. Does he have lovely eyes? Does he have a great smile? All of these things can be nice. Think about it and do not act on your lust impulses. I should know. I did. And it didn't work out so well for me. Right. So that's, that's uh, yeah, uh, what's the, oh, Fernando Florida wrote that. You know what? Yeah. Do you agree with that? Mate, yeah, of course. I mean, but in, a, in a way, but no, you don't. She's obviously loves the boyfriend, but th- yep. it's not her true love. It's not her true love. Yeah. And you need to set him free. And she'll, for it, it's not going to get better. Yeah. If it's not the best friend, there someone else could come along. Yeah, you know? that's true. Yeah, could be the boy or the girl on the train that she sees. Yes, and then girl well, on the train. It's just I think what's clear is this is not the. It's not, not the, the best. Person. Unfortunately, I, I hope wish them all the best, and I hope yep. they sort of love and support each other into the future, mm-hmm. and that they can maintain a friendship with her boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't think it's the one for her. I think that's, it also might not work out. We got you got Jace Chaser right. A serious relationship is not three years. Believe me. Oh. They're throwing shade at that. You got Jojo Rabbit who writes, fucking hell, another privileged person writing on Reddit. How about you think about the real problems out there? Oh, wait, you can't because you're talking too loudly. I read this three times and I hated you even more each time. Whoa. Grow up, grow a pair and get out of my life. Thank you. Whoa. Read it three times. I think that's, they're the problem. I, I think that's that's not fair. It's, that's not fair. This is, a problem is a problem and, you know, this is to her, this is a big problem in her life. Yeah. And yep. I think those comments are slightly unfair. <laughs> slightly unfair from it's, Jojo Rabbit. Know, like it's not the biggest problem in the world. It's Absolutely not. You've got a crush on someone. Yeah. People have got much bigger problems. Yeah. Right that's now. True. Right now. People have got lesser tick, problems. Tick, tick, it's happening right but now. That's her problem. That's her problem. Yeah. It's the biggest to her right now. Yeah. Well, let's move on because I think we solved that problem as well. We've got two more confessions, two gorgeous confessions. The next one comes from lovely Jack. Okay. You can you write that one down? <laughs> that's with a J. J. Yep. A C K. G A C K. Jack confesses. I was feeling really sick the other day. Yeah, we can all relate to that. Absolutely. Too sick to fun- to function and far too sick to be on a train. I think we've all been there before. Of course, been on a train. You've got to get home. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had not felt worse while commuting and there was no way I was going to feel better anytime soon. Mm-hmm. What do you do? Do you get off the train? It's so tough. You got. If I can just, I just got to. Could have write it out. I just got to. I'll be home in like eight yeah, stops. I'm going to write it out. If I get off the train, it doesn't get me closer to home. Yeah, I'm sure. Not in a great position. So yep. I'm going to see how. See how, I <laughs> see how I feel. Yeah. I just finished work and I felt like my whole body mm. was going to explode. Yeah, it sounds doesn't sound great. Doesn't sound great. No, not a good, not a good option. I think There's no good option. W- which it's going to explode out of. Which end? Yeah, yeah, that's what I want to know. That's what you want to know? You really want to know? <laughs> <laughs> I just thought all I needed to do was to go get home and hopefully things will be a lot better. Yep. I could just pop a movie on and hope for the best. Oh, isn't that that's all you want to do sometimes? Yeah, all you want to do. kind of like go shiver on the couch, put yep. the movie on yep. and fall asleep and wake up at 4 a.m. and yeah. you're feeling slightly better and you can transfer Absolutely. yourself to the bedroom. What movie are you putting on? You're putting on a, a feel-good fave? No, I'll put it on, I'd maybe go for a rom-com, something like yep. maybe The Holiday. Yeah, great. Yeah, oh, Holiday is fun. You know, it's something yep. I've seen many times before Yep, and it doesn't matter if I fall asleep halfway through Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Some comfort viewing. And you'll know that Cameron Diaz is still going to be the world's best person at cutting trailers together at the end of that. Oh. Isn't she great? What a great job. <laughs> you know the, you know the movie. I know though, the movie very well. Great movie. A great movie. I knew with how queasy I was feeling, there was no way I was going to make it home in time. Oh, I knew that I was probably going to shit myself oh. and all hell would break loose. The train was going really fast and each time it went around some kind of corner, I felt my guts yep. drop. Not great. There was nothing I could do. I didn't care about shitting myself in front of strangers. No. That's never been an issue. <laughs> I don't know why it would never be an issue. Like, I'm happy to do that. I do do that any day of the week. (laughs) (laughs) But something about shitting myself in front of someone I really like, Uh, well, that would be the absolute worst feeling imaginable. Yeah. Sure. Of course. You can end up having a laugh about it one day, though. One day, maybe, if you get together. Yeah. That's when I saw her. 
oh. looking so beautiful. She's the only one I want to be with. Marilyn. Who oh, knows the name? It's not just a, a name. Not just a not rando. Just random. Not just a rando. The most gorgeous woman I've ever laid eyes on. Clapped eyes on. Clapped eyes on. <laughs> we live near each other and have had very short and nice exchanges on walks home from time to time. And it's maybe the sort of thing you look forward to. Get on Absolutely. the train. Absolutely. Oh, there's Marilyn. Well. That just made my day a little yeah. bit better. Oh, gorgeous Might lead to nothing. Gorgeous Marilyn. Gorgeous Marilyn. She's always yeah. talking to me. I knew that this was I knew that this time wasn't going to be the time to do anything. There's a man on the train who is quite aggressive and usually picks fights with someone. Mm. They can appear on carriages from time to time. Absolutely. What do you do in a situation like this? What do you what do you think? And if you were if you're this gorgeous person, what would you be doing in a situation like this? Um hang on. So if is the person being aggressive to not towards her anyone or to, towards anyone? Just just a random person sitting there that can get quite aggressive on the train. I mean, often all with these people, you just don't want to escalate the situation, mm-hmm. or you don't want to. You go, well, it's better to not. Yeah, better not to say anything. Let's avoid eye contact. Let's yep. not try and sort of start something because it's not going to be fun for anyone on the carriage. Yeah, even the person who's the aggressor. Yeah, don't, don't sure. Want, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just leave it. So you just walk away. Hopefully, leave it, and hopefully yep. they're, they're not aggressing at the moment, are they? And they're not aggressing at the moment. I walked up to him and spoke very quietly. I asked him to fight me. What? He agreed to it if I gave him 20 quid. Okay, so we're on a London we're tube. London, train, London tube. As I could feel my guts dropping, I walked back over to my spot and he came over, shouting at me and telling me that I was staring at him. Marilyn saw the whole thing and as we fought, we were kicked off. Luckily, wow. I didn't ship myself until we were off the train and as I let it all out in front of this man, I felt sweet relief. Oh, if this was a film, that would be a great scene as well when he's just standing there and <laughs> shitting himself. And totally, um, it could have backfired. Absolutely. I mean, it, did backfire. it did backfire in a big way, but <laughs> it, could have, it could have been a lot worse than it was. In, in the way that he, he might have, the timing might have been all off. This guy yeah. comes, up to, uh, comes up to Jack yep. and he shits himself. You're going to look like... <laughs> you look like a real fool. Yeah, real fool. <laughs> just because I want to talk to you. Is that right? Now, I've seen Marilyn a few more times and now she ignores me. She smiles politely as you have to in social settings, but there is never anything more. I don't know if I should be telling her the truth in how I feel. Now, mm. I think the issue is that she thinks that maybe he's picking fights with people on trains. You well, don't always want to be with a person like I that. I wonder if she saw him walk up to this guy. The yeah. Guy say, Money exchange hands. 20 quid. 20, 20 quid. And then. 20 quid. 20 quid. And then. <laughs> and then he's nodded. They've yep. obviously made some sort of deal. And if she yep. she had might have thought Jack. Maybe the, there just wasn't a vibe between them. Yeah. Maybe she's just being nice and going, hi. Hi, yeah. And Jack's reading the situation wrong. Yeah. That seems like a, such a weird move yeah. to go, come up and fight me. Yeah. It's, it's I'm very gonna, strange. Hoping I'm going to get kicked off the train. <laughs> yeah. oh. Otherwise, you're just going to shit yourself while someone's fighting What's you. he going to say to her? I, yeah. <laughs> Funniest thing happened. You know you know when I saw you the other day? Yeah. You know, he wouldn't talk that. He's probably from um, Hackney or somewhere. Hackney? Can you do a Hackney accent? <laughs> probably. I reckon he could. Probably. Oh, oh no. <laughs> but you're trying and that's what I respect. You had a go. <laughs> There's not many really accents nice. I can do. Yep. And that's not one of them. What are the big ones? Hmm? What are the big ones that you can do? I, there's none. I don't, I, I don't attempt yep. accents don't anymore. Attempt, yeah, I don't fair. attempt that's accents fair. anymore. Yep. So, okay, so you're thinking, you know, if you go up to, if you go up to her and say, I tried to, I, 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 I didn't want to shit myself in front of you. I paid someone. 20 quid to come and fight me. So so I'd get kicked off the train. And not shit in front of you. And then as soon as I got kicked off the train, I just opened up. (laughs) Yeah. Both barrels. Yeah, (laughs) so to speak. Do you think that's believable? If someone told you that, no. There's no way that you'd believe that. He's not coming back from this. No. Do you think he needs to just leave Marilyn alone and let her live her best life? He's got to leave Marilyn alone. He's got to let her live her best life. I don't think he ever had a chance. What if she's the one? Uh, She's not the one. Not the one? No. Okay. If, if this is a movie, yep. like The Holiday. Yeah, with Cameron Diaz, with Drew Cameron Barrymore. Drew, is no, it Drew Barrymore? No, Kate Winslet. Kate Winslet, of course. Um, not Adam Sandler. Uh, uh, Jack, Jack Black. Black. <laughs> and uh, the other guy, J- James. Earl Jones. <laughs> James. Uh, it's oh, not no, James, no, Jude, Jude Law. Law. Jude Law. Snap. We don't need that in the fact check series. No. Make sure we're not discussing that in the fact check. We've already solved that bit. <laughs> So, okay, so you think but in this, this situation is, you can't come back for it. This, like it wasn't love at first sight. No. You know. Because like Cameron Diaz got married before in the film. Wasn't she already married? Uh, and maybe Drew Barrymore was married. No, Jude Law was definitely married before. 
Yeah, no, he he's true. He, no, he's white. I don't, no spoilers. Yeah, it's but a great made, movie. It's fine. But yeah, yeah. You know what happened to his wife? What happened to his wife? She passed away. Oh, no spoilers. Okay, I'm well, sorry. Yeah, she uh, may or may not have passed away. <laughs> and Drew Barrymore lives in the house of his not sister. Not Drew Barrymore. I think. Kate Winslet. Kate, Kate, Win- Kate Winslet lives in the house. It <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> I think, then Google it. You know it, what, Jack? Up. You do some of the heavy lifting, you know what, listener, because I can't do it all for you. I can't. Jack, take Scott. a different train. Maybe there's, there's someone else for you out there. Yeah. She's not the only one. She yeah. wasn't the one. Yeah. If she was the one, it would have happened like it does in the movies. Yeah. You wouldn't have had to fight some aggressive guy and shit yeah. yourself outside the train. So it's over, Jack. <laughs> yeah. That's not like Notting Hill, is it? That's not. <laughs> this is <laughs> not Notting Hill. This is not Notting Hill. Well, let's move on to the final confession today. You ready for this? I'm ready to write the name down. <laughs> That's all you're ready for. You're not committing to anything else. Yeah. The final confession comes from Mary. Mary confesses. Mm-hmm. I didn't have a good time at school. A lot of people don't. A lot of people don't. A few of my friends did, but that wasn't my experience. Mm-hmm. There were a lot of times I just wanted to not go to high school. I'm doing fine now. Mm. Not as well as I would have liked, but it's totally fine. Cool. Cool. Cool, Mary. That's That's yeah. it. No, it's not the end of the story. It's a wonderful story so mm. far. One of my favourite stories. <laughs> now, w- did you have a good time at school? Um, yeah, I, I unfortunately had a you know, yeah. fine time. Yeah, great. Yeah, well, I sort of wouldn't want to rewind and go back there. Yeah, if you're having a better time now. I'm, I think I'm having a much better time. Yeah, great. But now, I didn't have a bad podcast? time. I, right now I'm having a better time. Are you doing podcasts at high school? No. None. Mate. Don't even talk about it. Don't even talk about <laughs> podcasts at my high school ever again. I'm so sorry, I shouldn't have asked. There was no, it was, yeah. I don't know what they would have done. It was a, it was a while ago. Yeah. Pod, podcast didn't exist. Radio, radio, uh, radio, you have a radio station at your school? No, we had a CD, we had one CD ROM player. You play, with the Encyclopedia around. Britannica. Wow. <laughs> Just playing all the time on loop. I'm not joking. It's long. I'm not joking. Wow. The library had one computer with a CD ROM and you were allowed to book time on it. <laughs> But it would just continually play, so you'd be lucky to get whatever you're given to listen. It's the Encyclopedia Britannica. So it just keeps going. No, you get a disc. You could get the oh, you know, right, right. 80K or L to Z disc. Yeah. Or, and you <laughs> tell you, you'd look at something and tell knock you which disc out. to put in and knock yourself, but you had to book time on it. Oh, my God. No, it wasn't a, no there wasn't that. one computer for everyone. Yeah. So what, I don't know why no you think we had a radio so station. Sorry, I'm not having a go at you. No, it sounded like. We'll get a sound of that. There were a lot of times yeah. I just wanted to go, uh, not go to high school. Sure. Uh, it's having a bad time. It's, what an a- anxious feeling as well to be like, oh, I don't want to go there. Not a great feeling. Uh, yeah. A lot of people feel it. And of course. Yeah. You know. I'm doing fine now. Not as well as would have liked, but it's totally fine. There were a couple of people I went to high school with who I kind of wanted to prove wrong. To make myself look better than I actually am. It's a common thing. I yeah, think. of course. Everyone wants to, you know, you go back to a school reunion. You want to go, oh, yeah. Look at me now. I'm a big look. shot. Big shot. Yeah. I'm making, I'm, I'm cutting together trailers in America yeah. for major motion pictures. Three happy kids, one happy wife. One happy wife. Happy wife, happy life. That's what I always <laughs> say. I made that up. <laughs> I knew that this wasn't exactly the right thing to do, but who cares? Yeah. I kind of needed this to prove to the world that I had it all together. And I won in some terms. I think we all have that feeling sometimes. Yeah, yeah of course. So I was chatting to my best friend who is a modelling agent. Is it like when I came here tonight, you said, how are things going? I said, great, I've got a modelling contract. <laughs> yeah, you got your modelling contract? Got a modelling contract. Yep. I'm doing, um, I've got a billboard for um, Gucci and Louis Vuitton <laughs> in right. another country that you won't probably see. <laughs> You'll never see it. You'll never see it. That's what I'm going looking. Please don't go looking. <laughs> you can't find <laughs> you it. You can't find it. it. <laughs> you don't have the CD-ROM. <laughs> that night she told me I could use a few of her clients. I did exactly that. Mm-hmm. I got one of the model clients to pretend to be my husband. Okay. No one could hardly believe it. And that's what's better yet is I hired a few people, actors, to talk about how success, successful I am. Mm. When we're out to dinner, I had a few people ask me if I started a company, which all of it is made up. Mm. And I told them that, yes, I did. They were also impressed and the horrible bullies I went to school with were almost speechless. What a high school reunion. It felt like I'd achieved something that I'd gotten away with it all. I'd never felt more powerful, more alive. Here I was living my best fake life for one night and it felt incredible. Well, the other week I saw one of these bullies down the street and it all didn't feel so good. Even though I got my payback, I feel terrible about lying to people, mm. especially to the people at school who I actually liked. Mm. Is it too weird to message all of them and get it off my chest? 
they come from Mary. They probably know. You reckon? To be honest, they probably yeah. know. That's why they're speechless. It's like, yeah. I can't believe this fucking, this Mary is trying to pull yeah. this off. Yeah, pull one over us, so yeah. to speak. We know he's not your husband. Yeah. All right, if he's your husband, kiss. Yeah, kiss right now in front kiss of Kiss right of now us. in front of everyone. Yep. I want to get in the middle of it as you kiss. Yep. If he's really your husband. Let's yeah. all kiss. Why don't you go go um, go um out around the corner and do it? <laughs> yeah. They're like 30-year-old people. And who's bringing, who's bringing work colleagues yeah. to your school reunion? To go, oh, I just hope it's okay, guys, but I brought a couple of my yeah. work colleagues. Yeah, I can never and switch off. And I can't going, switch off. I can't switch off. And they go, oh, my God, Mary, you're so successful. Yeah. She's so successful she had to bring work colleagues to the um, school reunion. Yeah. Mary's gone one step too far. Yeah. You know, hopefully she can learn, use this as a learning experience. Yeah. And that at the next school reunion she maybe can go the opposite. Go bankrupt. Yeah. When she goes back she – A huge she's, business. She's got a – yeah. Got a few sub stories. Like had, hard times. Yeah. She's yep. got to undo it, go so far the other way that when yeah. they go, How's, hey, Mary, was last time we saw you, you had the husband and your work colleagues that were following you around everywhere, even to the school reunion. How's things yep. going now? Ever heard of a recession? Yeah. You're looking at it. You're looking at a recession in the at one recession. dead in the eyes. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. And, yeah, and she can maybe cut her clothes off and make burn holes in her clothes. That's true, yeah. This is quite good. So, but in this situation, she's going, oh, the, the people that were quite nice to mm. her. You know, who she had a connection with and maybe would potentially want to be friends with. Well, they're obviously still not friends. Cause, yeah, no. You know. Do you think they're just looking at her because she's successful now? Do you think they're like, oh, maybe she's she, done, Mary's done pretty well. Oh, she's, she's doing all right. Yeah, she's doing all right. Um, Yeah, maybe, but they also obviously weren't her friends beforehand. Like, no. she must have stayed friends with a lot of people. And I no. feel really bad for Mary that she had such a terrible time at school and that she yeah. feels like she has to... Um, Give the middle finger to all her friends. Sorry, as far as we're doing that to you, but giving the middle yeah. finger to her friends to say, "Look what, look where, look I, where am. I am now." When she's not there, she's not there, not yet. She's lying to herself as well. Yeah, that's the worst thing to do, I think. Lying to yourself. Lying to yourself. Wow, can be if you're lying to yourself you know every what? day. She should next time go back to school reunion with burn holes in her clothes. <laughs> no, uh, obviously, and no ring because yep. she's been divorced. Been divorced, and. Shit herself in front of everyone. <laughs> she has to shit herself in front of everyone at the high to school reunion. To undo the curse. Wow, the curse. The curse that was put on her. <laughs> wow, that's the only way forward? Often. I don't see it often the way. that's the only way to... Often. To, <laughs> often that's the only way. To shit yourself. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. that's great advice. That's sound yeah. advice for beautiful Mary. That's what she has to do. Is undo, to undo the curse. Only way to undo the curse, or, yeah. But genuinely you can't. I mean, maybe it's one of these things where you do say to your friend... And maybe it's it's a way to be sort of vulnerable with a person. If there's pick one that you particularly or two, and go, yep. look, I've got to come clean. And I don't. And she could start with, I don't know if you knew this, but I suspect you did. Yeah. But you know that wasn't my husband. You know they weren't my work colleagues. My friend runs a modelling agency, and they go bullshit. Yeah, I didn't believe that. I believe that. What do we believe? Yeah. But she might be able to say, look, I'm so embarrassed, and I just wanted to impress. And they go, Mary, hey, there was no high school reunion. We tried to impress you too. <laughs> That was a fake high school reunion. <laughs> One of those famous fake high school reunions. <laughs> we wanted, yeah, we yep. wanted to impress you by thinking we could organise a fake school reunion. You know, don't Did you we do a good not? job? Yeah, be honest. And then they go, oh my god, this is yeah, great. Yep. Well, can we hang out some more? Go, I'd love to. And just in sharing those that information and sort of being open to them, yeah, they might go, great. Yep. We're seeing you for you finally. Yeah, we we we're we're be friends. We see who you are. Yep. And then she goes, yep. And then it goes. Great sound effect, by the way. That I didn't was, even need the board That for this. was not on the board. That was not on the board. That, that was, was way off the board. Yeah. At the end of that, I've had four beautiful confessions from four beautiful mm-hmm. people. You had to cast one of these as a major motion picture. Say uh, Dave's a little bit sick and he wants to watch a holiday sort of film. Would you yeah. be saying that Mary, who faked who she was at a high score, and you've got Jack, who was feeling really sick and shit himself on a train. You've got Clo Clo, mm-hmm. who was in a relationship but was more in love with the boyfriend's best friend. And you've got Brian, who pretended that the chickens were laying eggs. I mean, the one I love is yep. the Brian one. Brian. And, nice. you know, I think we get Jude Law. Wow. Kate Winslet. Yep. Cameron Diaz. Yep. Jack Black. Can we get Drew Barrymore as well just because she's in my head? <laughs> we can, Some reason Drew's in my head. We can get, we can get her. We I love that chicken. I don't know where it goes and I don't know. Yeah. It's sort of a movie. Yeah. It's... Do you think it's in the English English village somewhere? Do you think, you know, we kind of go with yeah. the holiday sort of vibe and do it there? Yeah, like I love this sort of uh, Welsh 
Yeah, it's Welsh. Okay, let's put on accents. That's fine. We can work that out later. I, I don't know why yeah. I said Welsh, but I felt Welsh. Welsh is good. I think yeah. a small Welsh town would be quite nice. Catherine Zeta Jones. Yep, she could be in it for sure. She's got the accent already. We don't need to. We don't even need to. Tom Jones. We can save on acts. We'll get Tom <laughs> is Jones. Tom Jones. Welsh. Yeah, Tom Jones. Is Who's we'll get in there? Can we fact check some couple more yep. famous Welsh yep. actors? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think uh, what's his name? Uh, Rob Brydon. I think he's Welsh. Rob Brydon. Yep. Could be a great farmer. Great. Great farmer. farmer. Yeah. Okay. Do you, to, do you want me to Google right now famous Welsh actors? Can you cut? Let's cut this out. Oh, do that sound effect. Oh yeah, yeah. Which one? Anyone? <laughs> that was too short. <laughs> Not that one. I didn't have time to. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got this. All right, sorry. Famous Welsh actors. Welsh actors. Welsh actors. Now on Confessions right. of the Idiot, we're going to look up who are four famous Welsh actors with Sabi Peterson. And we're back. We've got Anthony Hopkins. Oh, the farmer. Yep. Anthony Whitfield. Who's that? I don't know. Reese if- Iffens. Oh, from. He's a big, yeah, Danny big Deck time. Chair. He's Danny Deck Chair. No, he he's in Notting he's, Hill. He's the b- best friend in Notting Hill. Yep. We've got Paul Whitehouse. So, yeah, great. We've got cool. Luke Evans. Who's that? Is that Captain America? No, it's Chris Evans. We've got. He's, he was in Dracula, Untold. No. Lord of the Rings. He's in Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Pretty good. Not, not a fan. No, I'm just. I just. I need big names. Taron Egerton. Oh. He's, uh, he's big. Bloody, uh, he's, he was Elton John. He's one of the hottest actors in yeah. Hollywood right now. Christian Bale. Oh, this is is Christian Welsh. Bale actually? Is he Welsh? Yes, he is. Oh. All right, this is pretty good. This is a pretty well, good list here. Tom Jones, of course. Yeah, I like Tom Jones. In it. Tom Jones, I think, is a cameo. Yeah. Okay. I mean, there's lots of Welsh actors. Here. I don't know any. And Tom of... Jones is at the at the at the supermarket. Yep. You're buying more eggs, are you? Yeah. Yeah, great. I don't know if okay. it's Welsh. What's new, pussycat? <laughs> this thing's that. If we could get it, that's probably easier to get rights to the songs. If yeah. we have Tom in it, we yeah. use his whole back catalogue. I think that's the music. most wholesome movie. Yeah. And it's a real, it's a uh, feel, it's the feel good Christmas yeah. movie. Have you got a sound effect for movies? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you really need to label the. Um, <laughs> Sound effects. Do you think it's fine? Do you think it's fine if I start hiring this out, but I do the sound engineering and I go, yeah, yeah, I've got it, don't worry about it. But I don't give them headphones, so they listen uh, to it later. I got it. I got it, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's killing it. That's Ki- not- he's killing it over there. They're loving it. They're, They're absolutely loving it. Loving it. Right. They're loving it. But I think this is I think this is the movie. I don't know what yep. it's called. Uh, yeah, you know. Well, could we could we have a play on eggs? You know, could it be something like uh, you know, chicken or the egg? Perf. You know, because it is the it is that that's the actual thing there. It's like chicken or the egg. That is perfect. Yeah, <laughs> chicken or the egg. Have you got a have got a sound effect for just nailing the title of the movie? Chicken or egg or chicken or the egg? Oh no, no, that's that a squeaky one. chicken. That's a squeaky chicken. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good, isn't it? That's good. So, chicken or the egg? Chicken or the egg? Coming to cinemas with Christian Bale, yep. Anthony Hopkins, yeah, Reese Farms, <laughs> yep. Tom Jones, yep. Catherine Zeta Jones. Wow, yes. no relation, no relation. <laughs> that's huge. We'll put that on the post. <laughs> no relation, no relation after. And it's yep. about a, a, a guy who's uh, chickens won't lay eggs. His yep. wife says, "Cut off the heads." Yes, yes. Which you ever seen the film Chicken Run? Kind of make it like that, so it's like kind of oh, it's like Walls and it. Gromit. There's a Walls and Gromit one. Stop motion animation hates the chickens, and I reckon oh. we kind of get that. The actor who played the claymation version, I she Catherine involved. Zeta Jones, does not like the chickens. Yes, yeah, I like that. He if he loves not, them. If they're not laying eggs, <laughs> yes, I said I wouldn't do it. I said I wouldn't. No, what's the line? Is this this is going to be in the trailer? Yeah, too. yeah. If they're not laying eggs, off with the heads. That's really good. That's really good stuff. We can't forget that. <laughs> Siri, write that down. We can't forget that because that's really good. That's in the trailer. I'm sorry, sure. to, you know, I'm just having to ping an accent because that's the first thing that came out. So I don't. How about this? I'm just thinking about Fireman Sam. I love that. I love that. How about Fireman Sam's a great character? How about the end of it? Mm. You say that. So you do that again. If they're not laying eggs, off with their heads. Cuts out. Cameron Diaz is there. She goes, that's the trailer. <laughs> so bring it back. It's a movie in a movie. It's a movie in a movie. And we call it. Holiday 2. The Holiday 2. <laughs> but it's only the end that you realise, oh, wait, it, it was a sequel. I was watching a, well, I was watching a whole film. movie, but it was actually just the trailer. She, she goes, it was her cutting freeze the trailer. frame, that's the trailer. That's the trailer. Yeah, that's good. The Holiday that's really 2. Because she's the best at what she does, of course. She's absolutely nailing it. <sighs> I think that's a beautiful film. So Chicken or the Egg. Yeah. Coming soon to you. Now, and then under it says, if they're not laying eggs, 
Off with their heads. <laughs> Off with their heads. That's good. It's so quite a few different taglines. Yeah. And on the one poster. No relation. Catherine Zeta Jones, Tom Jones, no, no relation. relation. Yeah. Now, at the end of that, we've had four beautiful confessions from four beautiful people. Mm-hmm. As always, you save, uh, you, you solve, sorry, all of the problems of the people. And I, I think, I think often people think come here to have a bit of a laugh. I don't have time for it. <laughs> we don't have time for that. <laughs> time for that. Come here to have a laugh yep. and make a few jokes and yep. crack wise, crack wise. people's yep. problems. Yeah, that's not what I want. No. I will, I'm no. not here for that. That's why I love it. You come in here, you're cocksure. <laughs> you, come- <laughs> that, you come in here. That could be the another name of the movie. <laughs> cocksure. Yeah, yeah. I'm cocksure. You come it's in here, like and Jersey Shore, solve- but for chickens. <laughs> cocksure. Now you're my favourite guest. You know that. I uh, that I've heard before. you say that to other, and I like. I appreciate. I never it. say it. I never say it to other guests ever. I would never. Well, let's. I don't want. Yeah, I appreciate that. No, thank you very much for that. Thank I'm, you very I'm much. I'm very kind, and I think it's generous of you to say it to all the guests because. <laughs> <laughs> now, at the end of that, we've had yeah. you know a wonderful time on the podcast as yeah. always. We have beautiful confessions. What is Dave Lawson doing right now? Is there anything happening in the world of Dave Lawson? Mate, I'm just just um yep. just going with the breeze at the moment. You know, putting the spinnaker up. Yeah, uh, and yep. sailing downwind. You know, got the wind behind me. Yeah, um, and you are just going for it. Oh, just got a downwind downwind tack. And uh, you know your sailing terms. Is this sailing terms? Yeah, it's quite good. Anchors up. And, anchors up. You know, I'll find a nice cozy harbour soon, and I'll put the anchor down. Run it I'll down. S- I'll swim with dolphins, <laughs> dolphins and pigs. <laughs> the only two things you'll swim with. <laughs> now you can find you on Instagram, the D bag. Yeah, there. I'll put that on private. Oh, have you really? Yeah, I've gone this private. Is huge. This is huge. I mean, occasionally you'll slide you through. Know, Maybe I'm like feeling it. generous that day. <laughs> yes, yeah, but yeah, no, but the only reason I did it is I just. I started. I, I don't know why. I was just sort of got. Just felt like got, being a private guy got now. Scared one day. It's oh, like okay. you know when you po- po- poke at a um, snail's eyes and they pull the eyes. I back know in. that very well. I know that feeling very well. That so you it's kind of that, but a human version. Wow. Sometimes, yeah. I, but I still lurk. Yeah. You see stuff. Yeah, I lurk. Oh, that, I lurk. You lurk. Oh, don't worry. I'm lurking. Don't worry. I've got. I've got, I've got a 15 minute a day limit on it. Do you really? Yeah. I lurk because you're lurking too much. Yeah, but you know, don't worry. I give myself more time all the time. <laughs> It's like every day because it says you extend it every day. It's yeah. like a snooze alarm. It's no, I'm good. It says you got to grant some more permission. I'm like, I'll give it. I'll give it. You Don't worry. It. I'm and, the boss of me. And Twitter, but Twitter's gone weird at the moment anyway. I can't. Yeah, it's right. not, You're not so, on it's, it. it's not feeding me what I want to be fed. Yeah, sure. Well, the problem with Instagram it was feeding me <laughs> way too much. Way too much. So you're lurking all the time. Yeah, extending that daily limit every day. Yeah. Now, Dave Shed Show. It's not coming back at the moment. Not at the moment. You can check it out. It's on YouTube.com. Dave Shed Show dot com. So funny. No, no, so D- funny. Dave Shed Show on YouTube. Yeah, it was a fun, it was a, it was a hobby. Fun. But at the moment, um, we're shooting another season of uh, ABC TV's Utopia. Hilarious show, so great. Um, yeah. that's and come back. That'll come to the TV screens. Yeah, so look out sometime, for that sometime soon. But yep. I think you can catch the back catalogue on Netflix. It's all on Netflix. It's so funny. I watch it all the time. I love it. It's you, my favorite shows. You say that about all your guest shows. Don't I do. You? Yeah, yeah. I love it. I love. I love all of your shows. Generous, generous. I love that. I love that show. And I, I, um, that's one I, I do. I'm proud of. Yeah, you, you should know. be proud of it. It's so good. Yeah, great. Uh, you want to plug Seven Eleven at all? You're no. on their ads for a bit. No, 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 no mate. I've not. I've not worked for them for a couple of years. So right. I don't care if we don't talk go, about go it. Go there or, or go to any old convenience store. <laughs> but they are the biggest ones in Melbourne CBD. If you're in there, they're everywhere. Oh, for a while so there. Oh, for a while there, and I genuinely did like them and yeah. like their products. But, but I've, I've, I've got, got no opinion now. <laughs> I've got no opinion on <laughs> until they come crawling back. No. Dave Lawson, as always, thank you so much for joining me on the podcast. Love the setup, mate. Good night, Australia. Good night, Tim. 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 Actually, thanks, Tim. (laughs) Good night, Australia.